Hello and welcome to Marketing Solutions for Local Law Firms, the podcast that provides you with all the latest digital marketing tools, tips, and strategies you will need to implement in order to stay ahead of your competition. If you are looking to substantially increase your caseload in the next six months, this is the podcast for you. And now, here's the host of our show, the local business guy himself, Frank Deming. Hello, 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 everyone. This is Frank Deming. The local business guy. Welcome to another episode of Marketing Solutions for local law firms. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day, everyone. I hope you guys are having a rocking, rocking week so far. Uh, today, I want to talk to you a little bit about monitoring. I know a lot of attorneys who listen to me are actually doing their own SEO. Um, and I don't know if, you know, I'm not you yourself as the attorney, but as, as in-house um, but, you know, I do notice that sometimes, because I, I get this question a lot, um, people want to know, hey, Frank, why is it fluctuating so much? Why <laughs> why sometimes I, you know, I'm on the first page and then, you know, two weeks later, I'm in nowhere to be found. Um, there's some issues that you're doing that you have to kind of, you, you, you've got to monitor from an SEO perspective. A lot of people think that SEO is a set and forget type of business and nothing could be further from the truth. SEO takes work. And um, that being said, I'm going to talk to you a little bit. This is, this is just a smidge of the work that you have to do with SEO to make it uh, work properly. Um, but is something that at least at a minimum, if you do this, you should um, diminish the amount of fluctuations that happen while you're running an SEO campaign. Um, all right. So before we get into the content today, I want to remind you guys that, um, you know, if you know anyone who need some marketing help, or if you yourself, the attorney is looking for some marketing help, we're always available. We're always here to help you guys with any kind of uh, digital marketing help uh, that you that you need. Uh, you could give us a call at 888-416-7752 or send us an email uh, at info at lbmsllc.com. Someone from uh, my staff will actually reach out to you and schedule an appointment with me. So uh, if that's something that you're looking for, or if you know someone who's an attorney and is looking for that, that would be the action to take. Um, all right. So cool. So, you know, why, for, first of all, before we talk about monitoring, let's talk about why monitoring SEO performance is important in the first place. Um, you know, so, you know, as I said before, you know, building a website isn't a one or doing any kind of SEO isn't a one time deal. OK, because throughout the lifespan of a website, um, you, you're you basically competing with others on the Internet, period. It, it there's no longer a thing where people say, well, I only get um, business from word of mouth, which is fine. But if you want to grow, you want to scale, you have to, have to um, build some sort of online presence and start getting traffic online. That's just the way it is these days. So um, <clears throat> just, you know, just want to point that out because <laughs> I, I do it, believe it or not, we're in 2023 and I still get sometimes people say, well, no, all I'm doing Right now is, you know, word of mouth. I get referrals from other uh, attorneys that I network with, and, and that's fine. And if you don't want to grow any more than where you are right now, that's perfectly fine. But if you're looking for a predictable way of growing, you definitely have to be online. And it all starts with building a website, which you probably already have, um, and then monitoring that website for performance, when I'm talking about monitoring, you know, you just don't want to build a website and do nothing. You want to build a website and get some sort of SEO going because SEO takes a long time for it to actually get going. Uh, so you want to do that like right after you build a website. Okay. 
Um, so I'm going to give you, before we get into the real, real meat and the gritty stuff of the, of the content today, I want to give you three specific reasons why you should regularly monitor your SEO performance. Okay. Number one, errors. Cause a website doesn't start perf- uh, perfectly. Okay. When you launch a website, you usually achieve your desired performance after weeks and even months of running it. Okay. When I'm talking about desired performance, I'm talking about getting leads. Um, however, it's still, um, some possible unseen website errors. So you got to spot these things early. Um, cause these unforeseen website errors actually hold you back from ranking, um, you know, the, the, the in, in impressions on the website. So you got to be, you, 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 I always recommend people that you want to run SEO audits um, routinely. Uh, you know, I would say I like to run SEO audits uh, preferably every month, but I understand that if you're not, you know, if that's not your gig and that's not something that you're always doing, then do it definitely every 90 days. Okay. You want to run an SEO audit. It's going to spot errors for you. Okay. Another thing uh, that you want to um, regularly monitor is track SEO progress. So the website performance is relative. All right. A small local practice cannot compete with the number one law firm in the country, let's say. Okay. But it isn't about the raw numbers. It's about growth. You always got to remember that. So tracking your SEO progress gives you an idea of what needs to improve until your practice becomes a visible um, a, a visible entity in your area. Um, so, again, I always deal with local law firms. That's what it's called, marketing solutions local law firms right um so you always have to remember that you want to track progress um another thing is you want to evaluate performance so even if your website does not start perfectly which it normally does it doesn't excuse me there is no way to guarantee the success against your competitors Okay, to ensure success, you actually have to monitor it constantly and evaluate the data you do have. We'll be back after a quick break. Hey, guys, I hope you guys are enjoying today's content. While I have you on here, I want to introduce you to a promo that we have going on for the spring of 2024 for all legal practices throughout the U.S. I have an outstanding offer that we've never been able to offer before, but we want to do it because you have been an avid listener. We're only promoting this to people who listen to the show. So if you're an attorney and you are an avid listener to the show and you're thinking about possibly opening your own practice, you want to pay attention to this announcement. We are offering a full website with hosting, SSL certificate, online booking service, online appointment uh, management, and more and much, much more um, with a one year maintenance all for twenty two fifty. That's two thousand. $250 one time fee and you have a full fledged website. If you want to know more about this, uh, just give us a call at 888-416-7752 or send us an email at info at LBMS LLC.com. Just make sure that you heard you, you mentioned that you heard it on the show and we'll definitely um, get you that discount. So with that, I'm going to bring you back to the content. All right. Um, you know, are enough people viewing your website? Do they just click the link and move on? Um, how much, you know, how much interest are you generating from the website? Meaning 
inquiries like from contact page or, or 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 maybe if you have a chat feature in your website how much is that occurring um you know so these are questions that you want to ask yourself as you're monitoring uh as you're evaluating excuse me the performance okay so evaluating your website is a it's, it's actually a st- stupendous way um to not only diagnose your site for possible problems but also to re um revitalize your SEO strategy because again SEO is not set and forget SEO is a is something that you have to constantly do and it's not just about backlinks i know i know i talk a lot about backlinks on this sh- show because backlinks are important but this is what i'm talking about right now is the <laughs> You know, for me, it's exciting stuff, but for you, it's probably the boring stuff of SEO. But this is very key because even if you've got great backlinks and your website is not optimized for, for the right performance, then those backlinks are, are going to end up hurting you because the, <laughs> you, you're going to get the backlinks and they'll probably drop you because your your website is not up to par, if you know what I'm saying. I mean, that, that does happen from time to time I, it hasn't happened in a while at least for me because we we know we're doing it the right things but i it, it, it does happen with you if you're not careful of making sure that that your house is in order and in this case when i mean that your house being in order it's your website all right so now now let's you know now now that we talked about uh uh now that we talked about the the reasons why you want to regularly monitor it um, let's talk about how to monitor SEO performance. Okay. Um, and, and what are the, the, the metrics, you know, to, to keep the performance, uh, you know, to, to keep the performance up to par. Like I said, you don't want to lose on backlinks. You don't want to have all this effort to get the backlinks and then screw it up. You just don't want to do that. So let's, let's, let's talk about, this is, this is, you know, keeping your house in order, if you will. All right, so then you know one of the things that you always want to do is a website health health score. Um, okay, so a health score is again is the way the SERPs or the search engine results pages uh, how how the how does the way the search engines are interpreting the health the health of your search engine results pages or SERPs as us SEO people call it okay very very important because it's it's see it's not <laughs> here's the thing I always tell people this uh oh how's your website right people always ask me oh how's your website oh website's great what do you I don't have a problem with my website mm, yeah you probably don't have a problem with your website how is the search engines interpreting your website what is the health score of your website you know I mean there are various tools that you could use you can just look them up on Google tools to to search. I mean, I, I can list them on there, but it's really not worth it because all of them do the same things. Uh, some are paid, some are free. The free ones aren't as good as the paid ones, but it's good enough for you. If you're not, if you are not an SEO and you're not doing this for other people like myself, then you can do one of the free stuff. There's no big deal. Me, I do this for other people, so I have a paid a tool that I use, but you could just look it up on Google, say, you know, free Google, uh, website health score, um, evaluator or something like that. Anything like that that you Google, you will get a plethora of different tools that you can use, um, to, you know, to monitor the stuff and, 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 and check out the health score of the website. Cause I, the reason I'm listening to this is number one is because a lot of, SEO campaigns that I have taken over, that was the key thing. <laughs> we actually fixed that. And without even getting the higher quality, quality, higher quality backlinks, it automatically, not automatically, but it, within a few days of us taking over and doing that, the score went up and automatically your ranking went up 
you know, maybe not to the first page, but the rank is. So that was a huge factor just by that, just doing that, you know, we already showed uh, our clients the value. Um, so I want, you know, this is the reason why I'm, I'm hopping on this is because this, this was a really, really key thing for us. Um, so, I mean, so the, so, so the tool that we use, uh, for, for website auditing is, is, is HubSpot's, um, website grader. That's the one that we use. Just, I just throw it out there just in case you're interested in it. It's, you know, it's, it's not a free tool, but we do that because we actually do this for a lot of clients of ours. So, but you don't need to, again, you could get a free tool to do this, the website audit and get that done. All right, cool. Just enough on that. I just wanted to hop on it. I'm sorry for hopping in it so much, but it's so important for this. And it's so important for you to get it right that I did want to hop on it. All right. So let's go to keyword rankings. Okay. This is something that you want to monitor. Keyword rankings. Regular checking. Regularly checking your keyword rankings is important to monitor SEO results, period. Keywords are the internet's, um, say, middlemen. Let's just call it that. Okay. Um, you know, the SERPs, um, your back your your bat your bare bones online legal directory so it's the 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 keywords the serps and your bare bones online legal directories i had an episode not too long ago about legal directories check that out it's a really 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 good episode those are some legal directories that you should be on um and again that's almost great 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 uh for reputation in terms of of uh, doing an SEO campaign, but that's another topic for another day. Uh, for 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 that day, anyway, and and it, it tells you everything about it. Um, in addition to boosting your visibility, okay, ranking for keywords also um, at, increases your website health score. Going back to the t- the, the first topic, um, because you know. It, it, once you get more relevant searches, the, the the it will that also helps with with, with the um the, the health health score. So look into that as well. Um, now the easiest way to check for website ranking position, uh, uh for your target keywords is through the you know through the search engines, of course. You know, so you want to type your target keywords and check for your site's place in the SERPs. If you want to use a, a dedicated rank checking tool, you want to try using uh, free SEO tools like Ahrefs or Rank Checker. Ahrefs or Rank Checker. Those are tools that you can use that you want to, you know, you, you if you want to start, rank, you know, checking in on your rankings from time to time. Uh, or just simply... Uh, type in the targeted keyword in the search engine and see where you are. Um, that that's another way of doing it. <laughs> if you don't want to, if you don't want to use a tool. Um, all right, so let's talk about organic search results. Monitoring how much traffic does your site um, get is also important for your site's health. Period. If you do everything right, organic traffic will flow into your site period it's gonna flow in but you gotta do everything right but organic traffic alone isn't enough really to measure performance all right so i want to break it down a little bit for you okay here here are some here's some engagement metrics you can expect from organic traffic okay impressions conversion rate click-through rate um New site visitors, uh, bounce rate. Bounce rate is key. Okay, so bounce rate for those of you who don't know, bounce rate is uh, when someone comes to your site, how quickly do they come out for your site? So the 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 higher the bounce rate is, the worse it is from a health website health perspective. And you know, go, the search engines take that day that into account as well. Uh, device type, like so, you know, are you getting desktop traffic? Are you getting mobile traffic? Are you getting tablet ta- traffic? All of these things factor in, all right? So the given matrix can actually help you assess your site's performance and whether or not your website is 
is um, achieving the goals that you you know that you've set for it. You know, so you know when you when we build a website, we like to ask a lot of questions to our customers about what are your goals for this website. We just don't build a site to build it and look, make it look pretty. What are your goals for the site? And then you know we're gonna do keyword research accordingly. Uh, for the goals, are we going to go aggressive? Are we going to go a little light? Are we, you know, it depends. You know, but we have a conversation, okay? Uh, all right. So that, the next one that we like to monitor is um, is is domain authority. Now, the domain authority is very, very, very important. Now, for you, it's it's a it's a score from from one to a hundred. Uh, no one ever gets a hundred, but <laughs> but if you can get a, a domain authority score or a DA score of forty or above, um. That's that's ideal, um. It, but also, the main authority depends also on, uh, you know, it, it, the, the the success of your domain authority or the, the the importance of it is how 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 much volume does your area get in the first place? In other words, you know, if you're in New York City, the importance of a domain authority number being high is more than if you're in Idaho or something like that, if if you know what I'm saying. Uh, because there are more competing sites. So this becomes this this metric here, domain authority becomes more important depending on the volume of people that you're gonna be uh with. So that's that's one thing that you want to factor in. Okay. Uh last but not least ROI. Most websites are built to support a business. Okay. Um, if a website is built well enough, it it must have been expensive, uh, or um, you know, or it'll have some sort of, you know, some 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 sort of some sort of planning behind it. All right. So not so much expensive. If it's when I say by expensive, I don't mean like oh like a ten thousand dollar website. No, when a website is built well, it there was some planning behind it. There was a strategy behind it. When a website is built just for beauty, it's not okay. It's actually when you when you do it for oh this looks nice, it's basically a failed venture in my opinion. Now. Your ROI is a good indicator of your website's performance since it was built to sell your legal practice to clients that are in need, right? Um, so you want to, when it comes to ROI, think about, okay, you know, I built my website, I sat down with my web designer and we talked about my goals or we talked about, you know, hopefully you're doing this, by the way, <laughs> You know, I'm speculating because this is what I do. When if you if you if you and I are doing business and I'm building your website, I am going to ask you these questions. You know, and I'm hoping that if you're working with someone, that they're asking these questions. Okay, so you can measure your ROI. You know, with with, with conversion rates, with sales figures, um, with, with book calls, um, you know, you know whatever counts to for you as a metric. You want to you want to measure it against your website. So, for instance, let's say you had an old website, you know, and and then you just switched it, you know, last year. How much business that that website bring you since you switched it with a with a planned strategy, not just, oh, I switched it because it it was looking antiquated, uh, which is not a bad idea to do. I mean, you you should uh, you know you you should have a a a website that's not antiquated, you know. But you also want a website that's functional, functional in a way that it does bring you an ROI. Okay, so that's very 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 important that you take that into consideration when you build a new website. Okay, so. That's what that's all I have for you guys today. Um, but before I let you go, if if you're doing your own SEO, make sure that you're you're using you know all of these these factors that we talked about. You know, um, 
uh, also, I, you know what? Before I, before I let you go, I was I almost forgot about one uh, key thing. I don't want to leave you hanging. I want to give you some something that you can sink your teeth in. And if you if, again, this is if you're doing your own SEO. Um, is you know I want to give you uh here I want to give you some tips to improve your site's SEO and how to track SEO performance. Okay. Number one, write with purpose, okay? Uh, because uh, SEO, as you know, SEO is uh, you're getting backlinks from a, a, a reputable website. You have to have good content. But good content also has to be purposeful content. Benefit-driven content that hooks readers and keeps them back coming back for more valuable information, okay? Either externally on, you know, to get a backlink or internally on your website so that people can find it somehow. But it's got to be purposeful, right? With purpose. Number two, maintain a fast page, a fast loading website. The average internet user only waits three seconds before moving on to the site with a faster page speed. So you want to make sure that your page is low quickly, okay? Uh, number three, you want to link to authoritative sites and gather links from them too, okay? Um, now, we talked about that. This is what we talked about uh, uh, backlinks. But as it is with the, the legal industry, credibility is everything, okay? So, and, you know, you know that your credibility as a as a lawyer is important, right? So it's the same thing like with your website. Your website's credibility has to be has to be important as well. So that's where you want to link to authoritative sites that gather that credibility. Um, number four is you want to stay relevant. So whether it's in your meta descriptions or your titles, you want to ensure that your content is on with the keywords that help your site stay relevant, okay? Now, if you're running your your own SEO, I want you to go through this stuff that we talked about and making sure that everything's on point, making sure that you're doing this monitoring constantly. Um, if, you, if you're lacking when it comes to, uh, when it, if you're lacking with anything that it comes to this, you want to make sure that you want to improve by doing those four things we just talked about, right? With purpose, with purpose maintain your, your uh, fast load speed, link authoritative sites, and stay relevant. And then you'll be good to go. So now, if you're struggling with any of this at all, uh, if your team is or, or you know whoever you have working with you that's doing uh, your SEO. Uh, if you're struggling with it, have us give a, give us a call 888-416-7752. We'll, we'll love to do an audit ourselves of your SEO practice, give you some pointers and send you on your merry day, your merry way. Excuse me. And with that, this has been Frank Deming, the local business guy. I hope you got a lot out of this content. If you did, please like, share it with everyone that you know that you think will benefit from this, um, and also give us a review on Apple or wherever you listen to your podcast. Your podcast. So with that, I wish you guys nothing but the best. Until next week, take care and bye for now. Peace out. Thanks for listening to another episode of Marketing Solutions for Local Law Firms, the podcast that provides you with all the latest digital marketing tools, tips, and strategies you will need to implement in order to stay ahead of your competition. If you would like to know more about the topic we discussed in the show today, reach out to Frank and his team at 888-416-7752 and schedule a discovery call with one of the marketing consultants. If you'd like to be a guest on our show, send an email to podcast at lbmsllc.com and we will put you on the schedule. With that being said, until next week, make it a successful digital marketing day. Peace out.